Before replacing the inline pump, disconnect the 230 volt mains power and drain the system. Please refer to our video how to replace the antifreeze for instructions on how to do this. Before replacing the pump, it's a good idea to understand why it might have failed. Check that the speed dial is not on setting 5, it should be on setting 2. To begin the replacement of the pump, start by removing the three T10 screws in the service hatch. Remove the hatch cover to access the third screw. Then remove the 12 volt feed into the boiler and remove the hatch cover. The next step is to remove the 12 volt inline pump connection from the printed circuit board. This is located above the green and yellow earth connection. Once disconnected, remove the plug via the rubber grommet. Clamp the rubber pipe either side of the inline pump. Move the spring band clamp using the pliers to allow the pump to be disconnected. Then disconnect the pipes from the rubber pump. Unscrew the two screws that connect the pump body to the pump bracket. Remove the pump, taking care to avoid any spillages in the vehicle. Refit the replacement pump in a reverse procedure. Move the spring band clamps back into position Remove the closing pliers. Take the 12 volt pump connector cable and re-thread it through the rubber grommet to attach to the printed circuit board. Reattach the moulded plug to the printed circuit board. It's important to note the orientation of the plug. Before refilling the heating system, check to ensure the drain bung has been replaced underneath the vehicle and the spring band clamps are correctly orientated. For information on how to refill the system or replace the fluid, please see the video, How to Replace the Antifreeze.